hello, we're back. All right. Give me a second here to get this keyed in, and we're starting Resident Evil 4 today. Doing some Halloween-style games. I might try to do... Uh, I'm thinking Resident Evil 4 isn't going to take too, too many parts, although I don't... I don't remember how long my original playthrough of it was. We'll take a look at the save files and see if the save files tell me. But uh, I'm thinking this isn't going to take more than two weeks, probably. Maybe a little less. And if we manage to finish this up before Halloween, maybe we'll start... Uh, maybe it takes like 20 to 25 hours to complete. Fair. Okay. So yeah, probably like... I usually do about three and a half three three and a half hour long streams well we'll take a look at my save file in a second here um let me actually kick over to the main game ah yes of course there's no signal because it's still trying to capture my xbox i don't want that i want you to capture my video game i want you to capture resident evil 4 and now if we do that and a kick over to here. We will hopefully, in a second, if you do it every day, you could definitely catch up if you want to do it every day without burning out. Yeah, I'm probably going to try to stick to my normal, like, every other day kind of schedule. Um, we'll see. Is it not... not going to show me Resident Evil 4 here. This game captured is not going to work for this one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just go to screen capture then. Alright, screen capture works. Can I get chat overlay, or is this not going to work with that? Uh, let's try... Oh, but if I do screen capture, I don't want chat overlay. Hmm. One sec. Orderless window. There we go. Hide that. Toggle to that. Go to here. Properties. Your capture in Resident Evil 4. Beautiful. Why is it not showing anything? What if I... Transform it to screen. You on there? No? You don't wanna you don't wanna work capture? Alright, that's fine. We'll just leave chat over on the other window then. And we'll go with uh, this capture mode. That'll be fine. Uh, also I'm hoping I uh, actually Techno Ghosty, if you could help me with a bit of technical uh, back end support here. As I start the game, can you let me know if the like stream frame rate is all right. I'm not sure how hard this game pushes my PC and I might need to turn off the uh, like the stream preview over in Streamlabs, like put it into performance mode to make sure that I'm not getting lag on the stream. It's entirely possible. I've had a couple games where like everything will look fine on my end, but then on the stream side, because the stream software is lagging, uh, it gets like choppy on stream. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, and I'm hoping that... Audio will be fine. I think what we're going to do... Let's take a look if I load game. Do I have... Yeah, this is pretty close to the end of my first playthrough here. Or no, wait. It'd be this here. Wait, what? Is that the time that I saved at? That must be the time that I saved at, not the actual play time. Okay, so it doesn't show me total time played. Well, that's not very helpful. I was hoping it was going to show me total time played. At first I was like, okay, 18 hours, that's about right. No, I think that's military time. I think that's 5.56pm on the 28th is the last time I played this. Because that looks like it adds up about right with the 29th being the end at like 4.30 in the morning. Steam hours says 19 hours. Okay, so then yeah, I've pro it probably took me about 18 hours then. I think I probably did about an hour worth of, uh, yeah. Actually, I did stay on the menus a bit, too. I'm going to say probably 17 hours then. 16, 17 hours. All right, so I can probably finish this up in, like, a week or two if I do some a, a longer stream or two mixed in there. And I might try to do the Dead Space remake after that, because I actually haven't finished that yet either. And I think, I think Zanvi gifted that to me uh, right, right around the time it came out when they were playing through it. And I've, I've played it a little bit just to have fun with it, and it's great but I didn't actually fully play it through, because I think right around the time I was getting into, like, looking at playing that, this came out. And I actually did play this uh, off-stream. When this came out, I was like, 
mainlining this game off stream. You can kind of see just by my saves here. This is like 28th, 28th, 29th, and that's it. Like, I did like 16 hours or whatever across the course of three days. It was insane. Are you do the merchant side quest of the Blue Medallions? I'm going to try to. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Uh, I love all the new content in this. It's fantastic. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do a new game. Like, I could load my new playthrough on standard to have the, like, second playthrough stuff in there, but I think I'd rather just play a new game. A little shooting gallery. Oh, the shooting gallery is fantastic. I mean, there was a shooting gallery in the original. Pardon me while I open a can of soda here. But the new shooting gallery is incredible. Like, it's it's just fantastic. That was honestly one of the hardest parts for me, was getting the... Uh, I think I S-ranked every every level of the shooting gallery on this, and that was... Those last couple levels on the shooting gallery got rough. <laughs> they were quite difficult. Um, I'm... I did standard, as you can see, my first playthrough, but then when I was looking at this... Like, it says hardcore for players who've played Resident Evil 4, the old one. And, like, I'm willing to give Hardcore a shot. I don't think it's going to be that bad. The one thing I think is very odd about this is that it recommends this for players who haven't played Resident Evil 4 and has stronger enemies, harder challenges, higher prices, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Uh, and Standard is for people who didn't play it. Uh, game mode can be changed to Assisted at Game Over. Interesting. But, like, there's so much stuff that changed from Resident Evil 4, the original one, to Resident Evil 4, the new one, that, like, having played the original Resident Evil 4 is honestly kind of a hindrance in some times, because you'll be expecting to, like, you'll think you'll know where safe areas are, or you'll think you'll know which way you need to go, and they just turned it into a trap or a dead end in this one. Uh, I wonder if the power slider difficulty setting is still around. Power slider difficulty setting, what does that mean? Not sure what you mean by that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to try Hardcore. I think that should be doable. We'll see. If I'm getting absolutely obliterated in this first part, I'll just start another one and I'll do standard. It's fine. Um, I'm not going to do Professional. Professional gets crazy. There's no autosave. Par perfect parrying is the only form of parrying. Uh, weapon modifications will be available from the start, which is nice because you can upgrade your weapons right off the bat. But it's... It's not going to be fun for me streaming it because if I'm streaming it, I'm going to be just frustrated playing this because I don't know I don't know the game that well. And I don't want to get myself into that nonsense. So we're going to do probably hardcore. OG didn't have a subtle power slide and difficulty, so he kept dying a lot. The game would get easier. I think. I think in the original game, the like variable difficulty. I I don't know if the enemies got easier, but I know that uh, drop rates. Um, it would it would drop what you were more likely to need. So if you were super, super low on, like, handgun ammo and had a handgun in your inventory, it would start increasing the drop rate of handgun ammo. It's like if you were running completely empty, there was a, a much higher chance that it would drop handgun ammo. Whereas if you had, like, a bunch of handgun ammo in your inventory, it would be much less likely that handgun ammo would drop from enemies. And I think the same was true of, like, healing herbs. Like, if you, if you didn't have any healing herbs in your inventory and you'd, like used up all of the ones on the map, there was a higher likelihood for uh, enemies to drop healing items. I don't know if their actual difficulty changed. I'm not, I'm not sure on that one. That, that's entirely possible, but I, I don't know for sure. I do know that the uh, the drop rates were variable, though, to try to balance it out a little bit. Yeah, we'll pick Hardcore. We'll just dive in with this. We'll do a new game. I'm not going to do, like, a, a new game plus thing. Uh, expanded treasure map has been applied. I can see the locations of hidden treasures. Yeah, I did buy that DLC also. <laughs> There's that. I'll have all the treasures marked in my map. With extra treasures. Also, let me know if volume needs to go up or down. It's pretty quiet here right now, but... We'll probably wait till we get to some, like, gunshots or something. It'll be a good test. Or if this girl gets her head cut off here. I don't remember what happens here. I was like, I'll wait volume check a little bit, just to see, like, um, oh. My tab out. Are we going to have a problem? It's a day I'll never forget. I'm going to probably turn my volume down just a the notch. Died that day. Yeah, we'll that do night, like that. Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. 
Somehow I made it out, but too many others. This audio is still a little quiet, or do you want me to put the audio up? I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. We'll bring it up a little. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time it can be different. FPS was jittery in first cutscene, better now, so I'm gonna wait till gameplay to confirm. Fair. And I can always put on the uh, performance mode on my capture software, and we'll see how that goes. Also, FPS might be able to, like, it's gonna be, I'm playing at 30 and streaming so tell at, me, young or kid, playing at 60 and streaming at 30. Why did you come so. to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. Oh. Uh oh. Must be very important, huh? Oh, good. My second monitor is doing that thing where it turns on and off. Himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. Oh, it's real choppy. You have a strange sense of humor. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. Oh wait, no, no, it's fine. A lot of people have gone missing around. Oh no, it's super choppy again. All right, and it's hold been up. That way for a while now. What we're gonna do? Well then, I'm gonna try turning we on performance right? mode. Mm. I can't I mean, actually I see my my preview items. now, but hopefully I'm that will sure help with the uh, <laughs> frame rate. <laughs> so let me know how it's doing. I can also try adjusting some in-game settings to like lower the load on my system on my end because I have everything on like max graphics settings right now, so I could definitely try lowering that a bit. This is it. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. Yeah. Hopefully, performance mode will be enough of an yeah, adjustment to see it. it. Uh, actually, let me. Do I have my phone in here? I could grab my phone and pull that up on there. I'll wait till the game starts. I'm gonna go grab my phone so I can have a preview, an independent preview in front of me that isn't relying on my uh, my processor. I'll wait to change any settings or anything until after I actually, like, get control of Leon and re-in the game proper. As far as, like, in-game settings go. He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. Okay. I think this is where we get control of Leon. So... Now that I'm playing, was it, did, it, did it get any better after I turned on performance mode, or did it stay basically the same? Interesting the cops go investigate, just saying this place is real gloomy, acknowledges it's not right, then goes in, yeah. <laughs> Like, how's the how's the frame rate looking right now? Is it, is it any better? Is it still super choppy? Uh, what are we what are we looking at here? Is, every, is everything looking looking fine? Gameplay's very laggy. Okay, um, then I'm gonna have to change some settings. That's fine, cause yeah, like right now I think I have everything on almost like maxed out. Is okay. Let me see something here. If I go under you, oh yeah, it is super choppy. Let me. I'll try pausing that. See if that helps. Ooh, I do have it set to 1080-60. Alright. I'm gonna close you. We'll see if that helps. And then I'm also going to... Oh yeah, no, everything looks totally fine on my side. That's the problem. What'll happen is with your streaming software is a lot of times if your computer starts, like, bottlenecking, 
um, the lag will affect the streaming software before it affects the game. So the game on my end is running perfectly fine. Uh, it's just that the stream software is struggling to output it. Uh, because it's tied up for CPU. Uh, Streamlabs. And let me... Yeah, yeah, you can see there, like, my CPU was just at 100% usage for a second. If I put you to always on top, yeah. And then I go over to here, I'm willing to bet we're going to see it jump up to, like, 100% CPU usage in a second. Uh, it's at 50. Let me pop you over to there. You know... Very intensive as is. Is, uh, is stream elements better? As far as, like, stream software goes. Because I could always try switching over to that. It's just that would be a lot of to figure out how to import all my stuff in there. Um, let me, for now... I think it's also, yeah, the fact that I'm using, like, 100% GPU is very likely not helping. Um... Same issue, gameplay was fine, but stream always struggled. Let me start... doing some tweaks to this. Because like I said, I do have it set to, to very, very high graphics settings at the moment, so I can definitely go in and uh, try to do some things that'll fix this a little bit. Like, we can probably go down to kill the anti-aliasing. Oh wait, gameplay's good now? Gameplay's good now. It was okay when you were moving around looking at Task Manager. How's it looking now? Is it is it is it still fine? Uh, I think the thing I changed there is I closed my uh, my stream preview because <laughs> I had my like my uh, Facebook and stream preview up in in the background. I was like, oh, you know what? That's probably not helping either. Having a uh... looks good. Okay, cool. Hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, let me know if anything changes. If you happen to notice anything changing, uh, I'm actually just gonna real quick let me. Get out of here, you. I'm going to real quick haul you over. I'm going to go in and add a uh, let me know how the settings are, or if, the, if it starts lagging in the uh, description of the stream so that uh, I can hopefully have people let me know if there's a problem. You have Twitch Mobile. Use that for preview. Yeah, I, you know what? maybe I should just do that. Let me go grab my phone. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab my phone so I can have that set up because uh, right now I uh, do not have my phone in the same room as me. Up on my desk next week. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab that. BRB.
How far could he have gone? If it's reading my mic or not. Ah, I love it. <laughs> okay, I just unplugged and replugged my mic. I'm hoping you can hear me now. You hear me now? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Again, initial setup thing, a thing there, which you probably couldn't hear. Initial setup, always a pain in the ass. Uh, hopefully it's all working now. I've got my preview up in front of me. I've got everything set up. Yeah, the first time streaming any new game can always be a bit of a, a bit of a faff, getting it all like configured and working. But yeah, hopefully it's all working now, and it looks like I can actually see my stream in front of me, and it should be fine. I'm hoping this isn't gonna, like, completely, completely drain my battery too fast. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I've got it plugged in and charging. This is good for your phone battery, right? All right, what's going on with this uh, this deer here? What do we got? You have anything to say about this, Leon? No? Okay. He's fine. We'll just head onwards and uh, investigate the lovely Spanish countryside. Twitch always rinses my battery. Uh, so far it's... Oh. Still charging? Now it's... Now it's charging. Okay. We're good. I've got a pretty new phone, so hopefully it'll be fine. It, like, I, like an eight, nine months ago, I dropped my old phone on some hot concrete and it shattered. Uh, so I ended up getting a uh, Galaxy S23. Uh, and it's super fantastic. Uh, it's a really nice phone. Uh, and battery life on it's been pretty good overall. It's been, it's been very nice. Leon sees liquor, that deer is nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was actually debating if I wanted to do Resident Evil 2 first, but uh, I have Anyone a co-worker home? that's streaming uh, Resident Evil 2 a bit at the moment. Uh, Dreadlock Samurai, who was in here the other day. And I was like, I don't want to, I, I don't like to infringe on my my IRL friends who stream. Like, I don't want to be streaming the same game as them and, like, competing for views or anything like that. Feels like bad form to me. Crude charm. Judgment is nigh. That is that what that says? Because if I had to read that, I would say read that as say acerca el juicio. <laughs> I don't I don't know if juicio. I'm I'm gonna assume that that's proper Spanish. I'm I took seven years of Spanish and I know hardly anything. <laughs> Resident Evil 2 is spooky. Oh, Resident Evil 2 is way spookier than Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is, is borderline a comedy game at points. And that's why I, I think I streamed the original Resident Evil 4 uh, very briefly um, last year when I was doing Halloween. I did a bunch of one-offs for Halloween last year. And I streamed the original one and it's like, it's a slapstick game, man. It's so funny. They did ramp up the horror in the remake. The horror is significantly more present, present in, in, in this... The new version of Resi 4. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. I should get a gun in a minute here and we can test the volume. Busco a un policia. Vino aquí? Oh, he actually learns a bit of Spanish. Good, good for you, Leon. Watch a comparison for the regenerators. Oh yeah, they're they're great. <laughs> Regenerators were always the one of the scariest parts of Resi 4, though. Even the original regenerators were pretty, pretty nightmarish. Get him! <laughs> Sir, I think you dropped your wallet. The 
Hunters. All right. Hunters Key Lodge. People straight up quit the game because the regenerators. I believe it. Uh, my friend Zanvi is uh, is streaming uh, Alien Isolation. I think starting tomorrow. And like I, I don't think they're very much of a fan of horror games in general. So I am extremely interested to see how they deal with that. Man, Alien Isolation so is absolute nightmare fuel. Like that game is a terror fest. Uh, what do we got here? Can I do anything with this? National Police Corps. Okay. Let's go. Where am I going here? Oh, and they're gothic aesthetic. Yeah. They, I don't know. I mean, some people just don't like horror games. That's, uh, not for everybody. I think they like spooky games, but not, like, intense games. And I would definitely classify Alien Isolation as more of the intense game. <laughs> there was a, there's a VR mod for Isolation. And, like, oh my god. If there is anywhere on Earth that I, I less want to be, it is the ship from Alien Isolation. I, I have a VR headset, and I've never had the... Had the, uh... The nerve to try the VR version of that. Hey, it'd be funny for a stream, though. If you just want to see me cowering in a corner of the back of my room. I read you. What's your situation? What the hell's going on? Also, how's uh, how's volume sound? Does the game need to go up or down at all? I've, I've got a gun here and we'll be able to test it out uh, in just a second. So, let me know how the gunshots sound in comparison to what I'm saying. Starting right about now. Whoa. Are we good? This just keeps getting worse. Okay. Volume's good at the moment. Alright, fantastic. Don't have much ammo, but we'll just, uh, I am on hardcore right now too, so I do want to be a little careful. I don't know, I don't know how bad this is going to be. Oh, 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 oh. Get him. All right, we're good. Back it up. I've only got two bullets left. Are we good? Okay. Don't forget you can parry in this game. I I promise you, I am always going to forget you can parry in this game. <laughs> I played through the entire uh, entire first first playthrough, and I think it's on space. I think if you tap space, it's the parry button. Like if you just tap it right as there's an attack incoming, and I think I did it accidentally three or four times. Uh, I don't think I ever intentionally parried anything, so... <laughs> I do not have high hopes for my parrying. <laughs> I was kind of hoping these guys were going to, like, drop some, you know, some bullets. <laughs> Be nice. Oh! I will take a green herb, though. That's fine. I'm also thinking I might do a couple... Like, I might not, like, go harder on Resident Evil 4. Like, I'll probably do every other day on that. But I might try to do some one-offs of some other horror games. Or, like, horror-adjacent <laughs> games. I kind of want to take a look at that uh, Terminator Resistance at some point here, just to show that off. That's super fun, too. Not technically a horror game, but Terminator kind of was a horror movie, sort of. Like a slasher film. Did she just point at that picture? Bruce. This is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. 
Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... Oh! I gotta go. Talk later. Leon, you got no bullets. It is time to go. <laughs> I like how chill they are about that. They're just like, ah, he's gone. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be. I'm sure he'll find his own way out of here. It's fine. Probably won't come back to bother us at all. All right, let's keep heading on. Sure, there's a lot of blood on this bridge. <laughs> Like, okay, what happened here? That there's that much blood on the bridge, but then, like, nothing on the dirt. <laughs> Maybe the bridge was, like, bloodied somewhere else, and they disassembled it, moved it over here, and then reassembled it. Alright. I need bullets. Also, I did not mod out the giant yellow X's. I know this is one of the most controversial additions to this game is the, uh, the yellow spray paint on all the things that are interactable. I personally get that as, as someone that's, like, had a tiny bit of experience in game development. I understand doing this kind of thing. I know there's a mod that takes it out, and I can definitely understand doing that if you're someone that doesn't feel you need that. But, uh, as someone that's done game development, just just make it clear what the hell is interactable or not, or players are going to complain. You're, you're going to be dealing with a nightmare. All right. Attaché case has been added, charm has been added, deluxe weapon has been added to the storage menu. Deluxe weapon? The hell is that? Why do I have deluxe weapons? Oh, is that because I beat the game once? That was a Sentinel-9. Fully customized handgun for tackling bioterrorism. Well, I'm not using any of that crap. <laughs> uh, what is this? Customized case. We got the classic, the gold, or the silver. I'm, I'm taking the, the classic, please. Yeah, that's, that's real nice. Alright, that's the good stuff. Uh, and I guess we'll go ahead and equip some, some charms on there, because there's no reason for me not to have some charms on there. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. And can I just get a new save going here? Beautiful. We're in. I could do with some bullets, though. Hey, there we go. Look, I can hear some friendly locals. Also, I love this, that they fake people out with this. Because in the original Resident Evil 4, right about this point in the game, there's a wolf you can find caught in a bear trap. And you can let him go, and he'll come back and help you in a boss fight later. And everybody played the demo, which was like the up to the village part here. It was like, oh my god, they killed the wolf, those bastards. They've ruined the game. You you still find the wolf. It's just later in the game. They threw that in there just to screw with new players. And I love that. Or like, returning players. And I love that. There's so many little changes to this that are intentionally there just to screw with people that played the old game. And that's brilliant. Like, it, it's so perfect. Because it keeps it fresh. Like, even if you've played Resident Evil 4 a hundred times, this game is still going to, you know, throw you for a loop every now and then. Okay, I know there's a guy, like, behind this truck, I think. There he is. Oh. None of that. Oh, that was bad. Oh my god, can I hit this guy? Okay, we're fine. Okay, 
Okay, we're burning through ammo a little quick, but I, do, I did get some gunpowder. Also, let's see if I run into the bear trap. Because I swear to God I hit this bear trap over here, like, every playthrough, like, without fail. Because even when I did the demo, I hit this, there's a bear trap somewhere, like, right up ahead here. I'm going to go real slow so I can, ah, there it is. I hit that thing, I think, every single time I ran through here in the demo, like... Oh. Let's try a parry. Come on, let's try a parry. Come on. Oh. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay, so parries might be an option. That might be worth worth remembering. Because <laughs> ammo is going to be a little scarce by the looks of it. So yeah, having uh, having the uh, the old parry to get him staggered might be a go-to. Also, let's just let's just get that out of the way. Uh, and can I craft just some handgun ammo? Oh no, I actually do need. All right, that's fine. I do need the other crafting material before I can craft handgun ammo. I love the, I love the head falling off. Uh, it's the little things. And we still get this here, the little binoculars scene. Let's see what's going on. How's the village looking? Oh, he's having a good time. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. We gotta we gotta go stealth on this one. We'll get him. Slowly. Just ease your way around. Okay. I think okay, he hasn't seen me. I don't necessarily want to go that way. I think I'm going to see if I can get behind her. And just, uh... There we go. You go down. I don't like that that uses weapon durability. I feel like it shouldn't use weapon durability. Because, like... It's the stealth kill. This isn't Breath of the Wild, man. Like I don't, I don't need you penalizing me every time I swing a knife. Okay, hold up. Get in here. We're good. That's gonna need a key that I get from somewhere else. There's totally a guy in that cupboard. I remember that they threw that in there. There's like an extra dude that wasn't here in the original version of the game. He's stuck in this cupboard just to scare you, but I think he only shows up if you come in here after the big fight in a minute. Let's just, uh... Let's just go ahead and, uh... Oh, right, because I only had one of those. Alright, that's fine. Uh, combine those. We're good. Was there really no reason to come in here? Did, did they hear that? Oh, they heard that. Okay, we're in trouble. Hi. Let's get out of here. Now, other things that change from this. Uh, in the original game... Oh. Okay, they do not stagger as easily. In the original game, you would only get the chainsaw guy if you went into this house. In the remake, he shows up no matter what. So honestly, the house becomes a much more sensible option. All right, let's do it. Uh, I don't remember any of this on the remake. I know how to do this in the original version of the game. So we're going to treat this like the original version of the game. And I'm sure that's going to be fine. And not screw me over at all. Yeah, see, like, that's going well. Uh, let me just head upstairs. 
a nice shotgun here. There's a grenade. That looks nice. Oh, is there something on that? No, there wasn't. Okay, that's fine. I think my friend has made it into the house. Uh, let me just real quick uh, get rid of this ladder. We're just gonna hit out the window. Alright, looking good. This goes down. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm not liking that so much. That's looking a little alarming. Okay. Reload. And back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here, you. We're fine. I am going to use one of these. Okay, we're good. Where is he? Okay. It's fine. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Everything's fine. I don't have enough to craft any more shotgun ammo. That's fine. Here you go. Have a have a grenade. Just go. Just go. It's all fine. Hey, hey, I'm busy. We're good. <laughs> Just uh, dodge and weave. What? How did you get on me? Okay, we're fine. This is this is fine. Everything's fine. Oh no, I missed it. We gotta get out of here. Time to go. I'm a little busy down here. Okay, new plan. Okay, we got a cow on fire. That's good. Let's, uh, let's try around this side here. Let we'll the cow deal with something for a little bit. Are they not, uh... Don't mind me. Uh, okay, chainsaws made it back. Holy shit, I think I got him. <laughs> I'll take that. Let's just keep moving. Oh, that's a dead end. Uh, just, uh... What? They can get you on the ladder? Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay. <laughs> what? I just got staggered by a chicken. This is fine. Oh! Huh? All right. <laughs> La campana. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it is got to dance and weave a little bit. It's all fine. I got the chainsaw guy down, though. Looks to be an emerald. That's sweet. And now I can explore the village at my leisure without having to worry about all these idiots.
Come on, Leon. Say the line. <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> oh, it's so much more gruesome in, Res in the remake here with that, like, charred corpse next to it. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. All right. Yeah, hardcore mode's a hell of a lot uh, more uh, tense. <laughs> Bruce Condor One, I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Burst out. All right, let's grab some ammo and stuff. Time to time to scrounge up anything that I missed during that fight, which should be quite a bit. We didn't really go in the back area here at all. I didn't check out this house. I can't remember, there's sh in the original game, there was a yellow herb, like, around the back here somewhere. I don't know if it's still here in the remake or not. Gotta kinda explore all the side bits, though. Uh, nothing in here from the looks of it. Alright. And we'll pop over to this. Anybody? Sweet. More free stuff. Probably craft some more shotgun ammo in a minute, which might be a good idea. I don't really have, like, a, a plan as far as, like, weapon upgrades go, which is not great. <laughs> it's generally a good idea to kind of know, especially in this game, like, what you're planning to upgrade and when. Uh, I, have, I have no idea what a good upgrade path would be. Oh. These people are sick. Why, wow, he went up quick. <laughs> like, they only lit him on fire, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> Maybe they fed him some, like, gasoline or something first, because he really, really went up. Uh, what do we got over here? Can I open this? I can. Ornate necklace. Very nice. Okay, sewer isn't open yet. I know that opens up at some point. But I don't know when. And there was, like, a trick to getting it to open in the demo, where you could, like, do, like, a secret thing that would open it, and I think you got a TMP. You, uh, found your way into there. Oh, ah, yeah, there we go. Another change from the original. You walk up there now, it's just a trap, and it collapses on you. Like, I do remember that. I was a little surprised it didn't collapse earlier than that, to be honest, but that's fine. Grab, ooh, shotgun shells. Anything else floating around the back? Oh, is this actually open? For some reason, I thought that they'd blocked this off where you couldn't actually go under it. Maybe that's in Mercenaries. That might be in Mercenaries, where this is, like, collapsed, or, like, later in the game that might collapse. Because I know there's, like, a thing that slightly changes the layout of this uh, a little bit later on. I seem to recall that being collapsed, though. That's why I didn't even try to go through that way uh, when I was trying to get away from those guys down below. Hmm. I'm also remembering there being bear traps around here at some point, but that again might also be my original game knowledge, or like a different path through here later, where there's bear traps. My brain is going to be totally addled, because I haven't played this since like, March. I think early April I maybe played a little bit of the start of it. And I have much more knowledge of the original game, so now I'm just going to be like a mess of like remembering what happens when. Uh, also, not trying for any special like ratings or anything. I'm saving whenever I see a a typewriter. It's fine. <laughs> I know some of the special ratings and stuff you don't want to save as often. I'm I'm not worried about that. We're just, we just want to save for convenience sake. I'm trying to stream. If I get a crash or have to interrupt or something comes up, I'd like to know that my my progress is safe. Just a cow. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? <laughs> okay, that did like a lot of damage. Okay. Ah, uh, we can we can just use a green. Green will be fine. The hell? Ugh. 
I think I want to take care of the villagers before I start worrying about the, like, treasures and the, the medallions. Just that I don't have to, like, worry about... This. What the fuck?! <laughs> what is going on?! <laughs> this cow is asking for it, man. <laughs> Where is he? Keep your eye on that bastard. Holy crap. Okay, we're coming back for that cow later. That's that's a definite. Let's Oh. 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 I'm burning through my knife condition a little faster than I'd like. I wonder, if you break your knife, can you still parry? Because <laughs> a lot of his parry animations use the knife. Huh. Won't open. So am I going to be in trouble if I break that too early? Hmm. I don't remember the correct path here. Again... Old school Resident Evil logic was telling me to go through the back door. But that's apparently not a thing anymore. Okay. It's fine. We'll, we'll put it together. Uh, if it's not that way. Blue medallions. Yeah, farm. Get five of them. Get some spinel. So they've changed how they work in this. In the old game, they were just like a, the low-grade sellable gem. And I think in this one, they're now the uh, the currency for... Ooh! Some of the rarer items in the shop. Let's just... <sighs> you know what I could do? We're going to try something. Because <laughs> I know there's a really obnoxious enemy coming up here in a minute. We're going to leave that intact, right? And then I'm going to see if I can lure that guy into that. Okay, I could pull this, but that's not going to do anything because I'm missing the gear. Uh, anything back over here? No. Alright, alright, alright. Let's... This will get me around the back. How do I get back out then? I don't think I have... Oh no, I can just open this. Sweet. Beautiful. I wasn't sure I could open that yet. I thought maybe I needed to have a key for that. Oh, hello. Another one of these medallions. Beautiful. More money. More of these. We're good. Loot everything. Spare knife. Got the cog wheel. Oh. Yeah, there's my friend. Okay, here's here's my plan, right? Here's my plan. If I just go through here, right? Is he going to be dumb enough to just, like... <laughs> Was that it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, game. Come on. Okay, missed the parry if that's parryable. Good. That's fine. That guy went down really easy. My plan of using the, uh... Okay, can I parry these guys? I should test this theory. Well, have that ready. I don't think I can. If you can parry that, I cannot. Come on. Here we 
Clear them out. Back it up. Oh. I think I killed them all. How are we looking? Well, this is going better than I thought it would. <laughs> There's no way. Hold up. Wait a second here. Huh. Okay, so that has the yellow tape on it like you could jump out, but then it's all boarded up. Very strange. Okay. Um, let's get this open. Also, I don't know why you can kick the doors open from one side, but not the other. I don't know that that makes a lot of sense. Like, if you're just kicking through the lock, I don't think it necessarily matters which side of the door you're kicking it from, but I guess I haven't kicked open many locked doors before. Maybe that is a thing. Get you out of here. Blue Medallion. Beautiful. That. Beautiful. That. I mean, so far, I think this is going pretty damn well. Uh, let's get this plugged in. The one thing I do like about this game, too, is that it honestly has a pretty flat difficulty curve. Because your upgrades as you go through the game help offset some of the increased difficulty, especially if you're being thorough with your exploring and actually finding all the, like, extra cash and stuff laying around. You can, like, give yourself enough upgrades to keep on top of the increased enemy difficulty. So overall, it stays a pretty flat difficulty curve, where, like, the game's about as hard at the beginning of the game as it is at the end of the game, which is honestly pretty fun. If you're not keeping on top of your upgrades, you're going to be in for a real bad time, and I'm actually curious with the, uh, the mention that uh, some of the upgrades will cost more money on this mode, if that's going to be a problem. We'll see. Okay. I'm extremely nervous about these cows. That one cow in here, like, really did a number on me earlier. Uh, you... Grab that. Pearl pendant. Alright. Where's that... Where's that asshole cow? There was, like, one cow around here. This is being a real dick. Ah, <laughs> uh, where's the last blue medallion? Dude, do they show up on the map? They do. Okay, that's fine then. It is over this way on the side of the building. Uh... Da -da 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 should... Wait... What? Oh, is it in there? Oh, there's a cow in there. Yeah, he's looking at me too. No, fuck that. We're going around the other side. I lost enough health to cows already. Oh, God. They're everywhere. What the? How are you supposed to... Oh, you have to get it... Okay, hold up, hold up. I see. You want me to go over here... And then shoot that through that window. Okay, so when we find the merchant, I've done the first of his little quests. Beautiful. We've got the gate open. I think that's everything I can do here. Oh, wait. You're gonna be in thorough. There's a hundred bucks I would have walked past. Can I see anything else? Yeah, no, it looks like we got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's. Oh, that's the way shrine. I don't have the key for that yet. Alright, I know what that is. We're good. Let's start poking my way through. Nothing here. Don't remember again which the, which the right path is. There's a lot of this that I'm just going to be like effectively treating like a first playthrough because I just don't remember how all of this fits together now. Especially because half my memories of the original game. Actually, more than half my memories. I've probably beaten the original game a dozen times. So, a lot of my map knowledge and like, which route to take knowledge is all this muscle memory from playing the original one, and that's gonna totally screw me over in this. 
Because, like, this whole map, I don't think, is in the original. I don't think there's an equivalent to this. There's something similar at a, a little bit later, but this particular section here is, like, pretty much new. I remember when I first played this, I was, I was convinced that this thing was gonna, like, come alive and start trying to bite me. I'm surprised they didn't go for that. Alright. Give this a kick. Holy... Right! There still are quick time events in this game. I definitely didn't forget about that. Uh, how do I... How do I progress here? Alright, you know what? Let's try, let's try a... Parry into a... Yeah. Make sure we're getting enough handgun ammo. Oh, is it just this way? Yeah, you just go this way. I'm gonna just ignore these two two fellas up here that are throwing stuff at me. Are you gonna... Oh, yeah, let's get out of here. I don't feel like dealing with that, because that's gonna cost ammo. Ammo's a resource. I'm treating ammo like money. <laughs> I don't need to spend it, I'm not going to. So far the parry system's going pretty well. Who would have thought? Intr introducing a parry system into the game and it's actually useful. Okay, no. Didn't hit the bat. Oh, shit. Okay. Nice. Okay. Speaking of saving ammo, though. I've fallen into that one a couple of times, so let's get that out of the way. Is there another one? How are we looking? I know there's more enemies around here. Oh, shit. Tried to dodge it, and I walked right into it. What are you doing, buddy? Kill him! Okay. <laughs> well, there's the first death. <laughs> okay. So, gotta work on my quick time events. That's fine. Did not press F fast enough to not die. Let's see if we can get lucky with this again. No. Come on, I had it in one try the first time. For fuck's sake. There he goes. Let's get that, and I have a new plan, right? I need some... I need to reload this thing. That That's step one, right? Step one is reload shotgun. Do you wanna... Here we go. Do you wanna, do you wanna come in? Come in? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Getting used to these parries. It's fine. Okay, knife's broken. Don't need a knife. God. Okay. You know what? Use the egg. Uh, 
How are we looking? Okay, I shouldn't have to worry about their heads popping just yet. I don't think they can even become Plagas at this point in the game. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Oh, I see ya. No, don't like that. Need to find a way to get to her. You want to light that? Maybe step a little closer where I can see ya? How you looking? Come on. Okay, she's lit it, but I don't think it actually can explode. Oh, wait, there we go. We got her. It will explode. Cool. They changed it now, so if you just hold it long enough, it will eventually explode. Awesome. Uh, I don't have a knife at the moment. That's fine. I'm actually curious if that means I can't parry at all. Like, can you parry if your knife is broken? Or does it just completely disable the parry system? Let's find out. Oh god. Let's not find out like this. Let's not find out like this. Come on. Take a swing at me. Nope, I can't parry. Hold up. Okay. I just realized I can check it by just tapping space, and no, I cannot parry. Okay, that's fine. If parries aren't an option, guns are. Um, still a way inside this house? Yes, there is. Okay, sweet. I need to find a new knife, or a way to repair this knife. I am getting pretty comfortable with the parry system, though, at least. That's good. Getting better at it. I actually intentionally parried a few things there. Oh, for God's sakes. No, you don't. Oh, for... I'm going to step into every single one of these. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, I don't like that sound at all. Okay, it's just one of the head, like the next snap guys. It's not great. It was better than what I was thinking. I thought there was a dog. Okay. Still fine. Assuming this is locked. Yeah, okay. How are we looking up here? Everything good? Yeah. Ammo. I'd still say this is going reasonably well. Like, taking a couple knocks, but not bad. That's another one of those way shrines. Yeah, need the special key to open them. This the place? What have we got here? Yeah, make sure I've got all my stuff. Snag all the collectibles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold up. Oh, I'm tempted. Do you think you can get the don't shoot the water achievement here? I am not trying it because I'm not replaying that whole fight. There's an achievement you can get in the lake in the original game. If you just open fire on the water a couple of times, there's a special cutscene that'll play out. It does kill you. Uh, and I don't really want to have to replay that entire fight. But I don't think I'm going to try it now. Expanded map treasure. Really? Expanded map treasure where game? That? No. Okay, 
I hear it. Wait, it's over here? Game. Work with me. You're telling me I am sta- Oh, hello. Beautiful. Okay, now I've got all my treasure, right? Because I can't get back into that area yet. Beautiful. How are we doing on my treasures, by the way? Uh, inlay gemstones. What's the show gemstone shift bonus? Okay. So for two stars, you want to get two gemstones of the same color. We'll give you the best, the best possible outcome. So if I like, like one of you and one of you, that's the best possible payout for that thing. Awesome. For a four star, what is it? Four of the same color. Okay, so if I can get two of the big rubies, two of the little rubies, and smug them all in there, we'll be doing well. That might make it worth actually looking for a second sapphire to plug into that... Uh... Yeah, we might want to do two sapphires in that thing if I get the option. Might be the better, better choice. Matter of fact, we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and remove gemstones, and we're going to inlay one sapphire, and we'll look for another sapphire. And then on this guy, we're going to look for... Yeah, two of these rubies. And then I can get the four four of a kind bonus on that and get the best possible payout. That'll that'll make more sense. Okay. I was like, with things costing more, making sure I'm optimizing my money is probably a good idea. Alright. Handgun ammo. Need a key. I hear beeping. We had beeping in the original game, but it was a real pain to take care of. Thankfully, Leon can now just deactivate tripwires by touching them. Again, not really sure that makes a lot of sense, but that's fine. Uh, hello? What is... Who is this? Who are these fine, fine folk? that noise that noise is something different than it was in the original game interestingly another little fake out for people that you know used to know what was going on in this game oh 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 okay we're doing okay how am I doing on uh Crafting materials. I'm honestly a little high on crafting materials. It might be worth... I have currently got 16 gunpowder. Let's go with one of these. And then we'll save up a little bit more and we'll burn another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little high on the crafting materials at the moment. Also, Jesus Christ. Game. This is a this is a travesty. You ca you can't be doing this to me. We gotta we gotta get this laid out a little more sensibly. Healing items are gonna go down here. Yeah, that's fine. Shotgun shells after the shotgun. Other healing items down here. You go up here. Grenades are gonna go floating in the middle somewhere here. That'll be fine. You're also a grenade. You can go here, and you can go here. Ah, you know what? Grenades. 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 Okay, grenades up there. Ammo, blah, blah, blah. We're good. Boom. That'll, that'll do much better. Now I can actually see what the hell's going on here. Okay. Now, a slightly more familiar sight. That 
words, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just some timey then, huh? <clears throat> Joder, not this guy! Who are you? Okay, stop right there! <clears throat> Okay. Hello, Mendez. How you doing? All right. How's my chapter results looking? Hardcore mode, about an hour for chapter one. Out of what, fifteen? Alright, uh, 33 enemies killed, died once, 81.5 accuracy, that's actually pretty damn good, I'm, I'm not, not too upset about that. Uh, damaged 11 times, a little higher than I would have liked, we'll live. Uh, typewriter, save, yeah, we'll save here. Alright, let's get moving. Keep her rolling. Sacrificial lamb, you will receive our most sacred body. Hi, Sadler. It begins now. <sighs> Not a huge fan of Sadler's new voice. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, stop it. Hey, Yankee. Got your name? Leon. Quiet type, eh? I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey! Stop it! You move, I move. And I'm beat up in office cities. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess. You're here looking for someone. <clears throat> One more guess. Maybe. Some missing senorita? Young girl? Talk. Now. All right. See, si. her chatter about moving a senorita. Moving her? Where? Who knows? But later, saw some men dragging someone to the old church. All right. Ah, hang Ow. with you. Not healthy. Come on, get him. We're not done here. Later, amigo. Shit, I took my gear. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. There's a section of this game where we don't have any ammo or equipment. Oh, right. It's Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. It said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. I'm probably due for confession anyway. Condor One, out. Okay, how's my health? Still pretty bad. Oh no. Okay, so I have no weapons or ammo, no knife, and I'm low on health. That's fine. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do if I run into an enemy here. Oh, wait. Okay, I've got a kitchen knife. Did we equip that? We did. 
I'm sure this will be fine. I genuinely don't remember this part very well. Uh, yeah. Get low. You're facing away from me. I just like... Is this the stealth kill tutorial, actually? This might be. This might be where the game first teaches you how to how to do stealth kills. Okay, got another kitchen knife. Hey, that's my gear. Okay, we're good. Gotta keep it low. Keep it quiet. And remember how to get through here. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, don't walk out around that corner right now. That would be a bad plan. You wanna, like, turn around there? Partner? <laughs> okay, this this must be a, yeah, parry tutorial. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Just uh, yeah. Okay. I'm still get, I'm getting more kitchen knives. That's good. Back this way. Wait for him to walk past again. And then we're gonna move forward over to there. And then I go over to here. And he does a loop. He goes over to there, and he sits there for a minute. Right? And then he comes over here. And I stay on the other side of this. And then there we go. Now I get up behind him, and we stab him in the back. Alright. Boom. We're down one kitchen knife. That's fine, though. Also, I know for a fact that I am going to get asked to stab these... Where'd it go? There we go. It's like, I know for a fact that I'm going to get asked to stab these rats. I think there was one out here, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Get over here. Where'd it go? Okay, we're good. I was like, I do remember them asking... Asking me to... Stab the... Rat. Got it. Okay, we're good. I haven't even gotten that quest yet, but we've already completed it. Fantastic. Alright. It's going well. Uh see any enemies, so let's try... Open this up. Okay, this is locked, so then I gotta move quick. Alright, that's fine. Just real quick, around that way. Around that way. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> How did I miss that? Alright, alright, we'll go reset it. I went through there like three times. How did I not see that? Oh, come on, man. These things are like Dark Souls mimics for me, man. Every single time. I don't care how many times I've stepped on those. I will find them every single time by planting my face directly into them. Alright, here we go. Now I got plenty of time. Boom. 
And all my gear is back. I'll be taking these back. Beautiful. Uh, you come on down here. Dives are looking fine in that general region. All right. Much happier. Still don't have the keys I need. Oh. Well, there's our merchant. Can I just, like, head out now? Over here, stranger. Beautiful. What do we Who's get? That? Let's do some business. Eh? Uh, first up. Quests. Yes. Hidden treasures. Fantastic. Uh, rifle ammo, which I'm probably not going to be buying right away. Hexagon slot, expanded map treasure. You know, let's just go get that right away before I deal, deal with this guy, because I th think... Ah? Wait. Was the expanded map treasure back in the area I already was? Oh, I think it might be. <clears throat> Hold up. Yeah, let's go get that before I deal with him. No. Where the hell is this... You're here. Oh, it's past that door. Okay. I see how this map fits together. Free spin L. Another free spin L. If I trade spin L, I could get the Punisher. Although I don't generally like that one. Uh, a health upgrade is probably a good idea. The treasure map to the village is almost certainly a good idea. we we'll want that. Alright, that'll be good for now. That's the Let's sell... Yeah, we can sell this now, right? Mm -hmm. Pleasure, dude. Sell this. I can sell this. Not bad. Hang on to these. I'm not selling any of my ammo or stuff yet. I guess we'll just sell these two. I'm not going to use these, right? Like, they're cool, but... I'll buy <sighs> Do I want to keep the lever action shotgun? It is kind of slick. Or do I just sell them? Because, like, these I think were DLC items and, like, I don't know, were second playthrough items or something? I don't really like using that kind of crap. Thank Screw it. You. They're gone. They don't exist anymore. We never saw them. Uh, what else can I do here? What do you got to buy? Case upgrade, that is a definite yes. A bit more space, uh, first aid spray, anyone. that's always Perfect a yes. Size for you, stranger. I don't need bolts. I don't really want the Springfield Rifle just yet. It's going to be useful later on. You like, by the time we get the Regenerators, we're definitely going to want it, but... It. For now, I think it's a pass. I'll repair my knife. That's a go-to. I could upgrade my guns. But... Do I need to? Or do if I you save the save the money? There, you I don't remember. You if you kids. spend money on a gun and then sell it, do you lose that money? Or do they give you back all the money that you, you spent on your upgrades for it? I can't remember how nice they were in this. Because, like, I don't... I'm going to be selling these later anyway and getting... Because they get, like, better shotguns and better pistols. Is it worth just saving the money on the upgrades for now so that I can get the pistols and stuff when they come, become available? I think for now well, I'll leave them. We'll come back anytime. We'll save. I'll just leave them at base level. It'll be fine. You can totally beat the game with like base level guns, so. We'll assume that's fine. I'll save that for uh my money for later upgrades. Uh Oh, 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 hey, miss, ma'am, that wasn't very friendly, come on, okay, you know what, I don't know if I do want to parry, that eats up a lot of stamina looking at it, 
or like weapon durability. Although I guess I'm using a kitchen knife. Maybe we parry in emergency situations, but don't make it my primary offensive. Like, I've got enough ammo right now. Hi, folks. Oh my lord of god, that did so much damage. Out of the way. Well. Time to use another one of those. Good! The dodge on this man. Okay. This isn't going great. Okay, this, this is going really, really god-awful, actually. We're gonna die here, and it's... Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna thought about that. Alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I don't think that could have gone much worse. Alright. Try that again. <laughs> try that again, except less suck. Hey, you. I like this. That, uh, that didn't do much. Holy shit! All right, well, we're dead. I'll, I'll just, I'll accept my death with good grace. <laughs> Can't believe he served that guy's a tank, man. Good lord. All right. Uh, we can do this. Let me guess. Can't open this because it's going to be locked from the other side. It's locked. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's just try some new plans here. All right. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab this. We're going to grab. Oh, there's two first aid items in here. Well, this is beautiful. All right. Someone here. Yeah. One day. Oh my god. The unarmed guys are honestly the worst. Oh no, we gotta move. We gotta we gotta move. Get in here. Pardon me. Okay. This is a little more exciting than I was hoping for. Uh no, actually Leon, could you use it? There we go, and uh, let's just uh, let's just assume we'll want to, yeah, free things up. Oh, good lord! What? How did that not hit anyone? Okay, I'm starting to question this game a little bit, because I, I don't know how something exploded at my feet there. Take a second to breathe. Get both of you down. Must have slipped. Get you down. We get more of these guys coming through here. You go out of here. All right, now I'm liking this. Somebody's still up above throwing stuff at me, which is a little annoying. Ruby. Oh, it's you! What? I, 
don't understand. Okay, I just staggered from nothing there. I don't understand some of these staggers and stuff. Because, like, I parried that guy and then he immediately got a second attack. I staggered from nothing on that. Like. Give me a break already. Alright, come on now. Get around the back. Deal with that guy up top in a second. Next. Oh, Leon, I don't want the next. We've had plenty of them already. Okay. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Almost out of ammo. No. Okay. You go down. You go down. How is this guy not dead? Keep coming. Jesus. Alright. It's fine. It's all fine. <sighs> okay. Who needs help? Do I want to just use this, or do I want to look around and see if we can find a red herb? I feel like looking around... Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use one green herb just to stabilize myself a little bit. And then we're going to look around for a red herb. Before I start spending all that crap. Ooh. Just throwing stuff at me. I hear it. I don't see it. Come here. You get out of here. Jesus Christ, that like almost completely took out my knife in one hit. Alright. Good, good. Break this down so that I have a way through. This is fine. There's still a, like one of those ladies out here somewhere, because I heard a lady throw a knife at me. But I don't know where she is. Yeah, I'm like, where'd you just come from? I was just down there, man. There was. Okay. Alright. Look here. Oh my god, there's a million of them. Okay. This... Yeah, okay. I heard another knife. Where is... Who is throwing knives at me? I can hear her. She's, like, right here. Oh, she's up there. Get in there. Throwing. She's up there. Okay, this guy's turned into a neck snap. Get him. One down. Okay. Spend resources to make me. 
or handgun ammo, I think, is is the is the priority right now. Just give me more handgun ammo. There's another guy out here with like. Where's everybody going? Bingo indeed. Yeah. How's it going, Invictus? Hope you're doing well. This is, uh, this is interesting. I'm trying, uh, hardcore difficulty. I played through on, uh, standard my first time through, just because I, you know, hadn't played a, a Resident Evil game in a long time. And I'm glad I did, because my knowledge of Resident Evil 4 was working actively against me the entire time, because of how many changes they made, like, map layout and stuff. Like, this map here is completely backwards. If you play the original version of the game, this map is in there, like, this exact identical layout, except you start over here. Like, uh, the, little, the hut where you're, like, caged up with, uh, Luis would be, like, right over there, and the merchant, and then you'd come out here, and you'd see this whole little, like, layout right here. Like, if you've played Resident Evil 4, I can, like, I'm sure you've recognized this. They changed it, though. This time you come in from that side, and you gotta fight your way through backwards, and that, like, totally throws off my, like, my mental map of what I'm doing every time I play this. Because, like, in Resident Evil 4 Original, what you always want to do is just stay up here, and you lure them up these stairs, and you can get a few guys, like, up on that balcony throwing, you know, grenade dynamite sticks at you. And it'll just take care of all the guys in the, uh, the stairs for you, because they kind of roll down the stairs. Perfect. The easiest way to take care of this. But, it doesn't work anymore, because now you come in from the other side. Get out of here. What? How did that not do anything? Oh my god. <laughs> You're down. You're coming after me. There's more of them spawning in somewhere. I hear them. You know what? You? Yeah, she's up there. You get out of here. <laughs> I'm a little annoyed that she fell down those stairs like that. That actually robbed me of a melee. Watch shit. Okay, we're fine. Ooh. Not bad, right? <laughs> I love that he gets the little one-liners in too while you're fighting. Just beautiful. Okay. Ah, yeah, this is a lot more tense. Uh, give me all this crap. I'll take some of this. I'll take some of this. Got a decent amount of money going on here too, and getting more gems. You know what? I have enough gemstones now that I can afford to do that and sell this, and that'll be the most possible money. I also need to find two of the big rubies that I can use for that other one. We can get a bunch of money off of that. Okay, we've opened the way out back up. That should be good. Is there anything... How? How is there still someone alive out here? There's two of them. Well, like, I can hear them talking. Now, oh, you knock that the shit off. Where's the other one? I totally heard another one up there. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. I see some money on the roof of a building. I'm gonna drop down, get my money. I think I've cleared this place out about as much as I'm gonna clear it out. Wait, what? How? Where? Who's throwing stuff at me? No, 
Okay, I see her. How are there this many fucking enemies out here? There. You're done. Jesus. All right. I would have killed like 120 enemies in this one room alone. Can I loot in peace at this point? I'm just here for the free loot. Alright, grab this. Let's go get the money from that lady I killed with the dynamite. Yeah. Thank you. Up to 20,000... Pesetas, I believe, is the currency we're using here, which I, I don't think is actual Spanish currency, but I could be wrong. I've never been to Spain. I mean, I guess now it'd just be the Euro, but... Oh, no. Alright. You. Here. Boom. But the finest ways. Welcome. You. Well, uh, sell this... 12 grand. A deal well struck. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, don't need to do anything there. Okay. If you want Here's what I'm thinking, right? There, you best One upgrade up that it's totally worth doing, because I'm definitely not getting rid of this. Dazzled, we are we are just going to go ahead and drop a bunch of money, increasing the durability of my knife. That is, that is just a, a good idea. Anything else I can help you with? Don't have any more spinels. Can't do anything any with that. I'm, sa I'm saving. I think I just saved, but we're saving again. Alright. Beautiful. Chuck this in. Oh, hold up. I have a key that I can use. Aha! Uh -huh. I have one of those little simple Hello, keys. Friend, and there's totally... Wait, I don't even need to do this anymore. I unlock this. One of these chests here. Yeah, here we go. Give me that. What's in here? A mask. Oh god. It's more... more places to stick gems. Uh, three gems. We want three of a kind if we can pull it off. Uh, we'll see what we get. Alright. That's fine. Or th uh, one of each. Three of a kind or one of each would be really ideal. Reason, stranger. <laughs> Crank it, Leon. Let's go. Alright. Where does this put me? Oh! Hold up. Speaking of... I just realized we left the treasure back there. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Get back there, Leon. You gotta pick up all the treasure. We're not leaving anything laying behind. I know exactly where this one is, I think. It should be... Like, far around the back side. Yeah. I think in the house. Ish. Like, is it like... Here? I hear it. Oh, I see it. Bam. Another spin out. Okay. That's fine. We can use more currency. Currency is always a good thing. Head on through this way. Do I have anything else? There's one more treasure. Wait, there's a treasure in the abandoned factory that I missed? How the... Oh, because I bought the treasure map, and I didn't have the treasure map before. Okay, hold up. Let's go get it. want to make sure I'm getting all my treasure. Oh, nothing but the fine. We're going to need the money. You out of here. Oh, for God's sakes, but this isn't open because, of course, it isn't. All right, game. We'll just just go around. No enemies here, so this is 
completely safe to do. Uh, it's gonna be in one of these, isn't it? Handgun ammo. Yeah, sapphire. Ta-da, got it. I'm a little annoyed. If I would have found that sapphire earlier, I could have put two sapphires in the flagon, and I would have three rubies, and I could have put three rubies in that, uh... In that mask I just got. Why not treat yourself? I've already screwed up the perfect treasure. That's fine. You get plenty of treasure in this game. We'll offset it with other stuff later. You go into this so that I have a full heal, upgrade health. Come here. Sir. Whoa! Oh, fucker. You fucker. Alright, speaking of a full health upgrade. Fine. What? How did he... Ugh, come on. Oh, I totally got the block. I even heard the block noise. Game, you're killing me right now with this shit. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Just really frustrating timing there. Alright. Wait. What? Oh my god, you respawned me back here. Okay. Alright. It's fine. <laughs> fine. I don't know why you wouldn't have respawned me when I went through the gate, but, you know. <laughs> that's okay. I don't know if I... I might not have died very much, I think, on the first playthrough I did, because I did it on standard, so I, was, I just wanted to see the game. And I don't think I died very often. So, I'm going to experience some new aspects of the game this time. That's fine. Hardcore mode's a little more challenging anyways, and I kind of like that. Resident Evil 4 has always been pretty easy. Like, playing on, uh, was it Professional? Was it... What was the, the upgrade difficulty in the old version? Was it hardcore or was it professional? Whatever. That was a little tougher, but still pretty straightforward. Ooh, I don't suppose this is before I screwed up my gems. <laughs> of course it isn't. Ooh, that would be too good. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Go this way. That would be too convenient if it reloaded me to before I sold the wrong gems to that guy. Handgun ammo. Sapphire. Alright, let's go. Out of here. Out of here. I want to do here. I mean, I could trade for a yellow diamond, and then I could oh, put one of each me. into there, right? I could do that. I could trade for the yellow diamond and put a red, blue, and yellow into this and sell it. Well, I don't Suit really need to worry stranger. about, like, hyper-optimizing my, uh... I'm just gonna keep saving here. Now I'm paranoid about saving, but, like, hyper-optimizing my money at the moment, because I'm not really, like, spending it that fast. Alright, here's the plan. Get up here. The hell with you. Yeah. What? How? How the fuck? God damn you, game. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. 
What the fuck? Okay, she's coming this way. There's a... Her. I don't feel like fighting her anymore. Oh my god. She let one rip there at the end. Alright. Get you out of here. Get you out of here. Okay. I don't remember the layout of this area. I've apparently walked past a treasure and I'm standing on top of another one. How does that work? Oh, there's a treasure down there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go under that. I see it. And then there's one back here, apparently. You say there's a treasure here, game. Ah. Get it. Beautiful. That'll do nicely. Not a ruby, but that's okay. We're crafting stuff. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Two sapphires. Three sapphires? Is that enough? Do I have three sapphires? I do. Okay, we can inlay gems. I can go ahead. We're putting all sapphires into you. Sell you. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, there's totally a guy with a chainsaw in this area in the original game. Is there still a guy with a chainsaw in this area in the remake? Don't remember. I imagine the answer is yes. Influence is not what it once was. Destroy the wind-up dolls. Do not forgive those aristocrats. Not gonna lie. I don't think I did that on my first playthrough. There's a bunch of... Is there one, like, right near here? I can hear something rusty, but I think it's just that. There's like little dolls of, uh, what's the, the chapter, like the castle section guy? You get out of here, you get out of here. You can find him laying around and shoot him and you get some extra rewards. I don't think I got all of them. Yeah, alright, hold up. Good. Fuck. Out of the way. All right, out of there. Uh, I don't suppose I have enough to craft any more shotgun shells. I can. That's probably a good idea. Is that it? Is he down? Fine. 
Oh, it's all fine. There's another treasure near here, game. Work with me. Alright. I feel like I need to start a counter on how many of those I step on. Thankfully, they don't do any health damage in this version. They just, like, stagger you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard ya. Hey! Hey! What the hell? Okay, my knife's almost broken, which is a little alarming. I'm gonna say, leave that. In case I get another chainsaw guy. Because the back of my brain is like, you're not safe yet. I don't know why. See you. Hold up. <coughs> Stab you. Stab you. Okay. I swear there's supposed to be something here. I thought this was where they moved the dog to. Well, I see the icon telling me that there is a treasure here. And I see no treasure here. It's inside. Alright, that's fine. Deal with inside. How are we doing? Oh, this is this house. Okay. Not too shabby. Someone has shown up their neighbors. Yeah, this is the house where we get ambushed by Mendez. Uh... At last, flesh of our flesh, blood of our blood. Give thanks and rejoice. Okay. Um, it's open. Now it is. Small key. Okay. I have a couple options I know of where to use it. Is there still an egg in the stove? There should be a kitchen somewhere around here. In the original game, you could get an egg out of the... Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. We're looking for symbols, and I've got a... Okay, I've got to find three symbols that are all the same, and then use them to open that. Here's the kitchen. There is still an egg in the stove. Beautiful. Alright. Is there still... Hold up. Under the staircase, there was a bathroom with just, like, a random zombie, like, lying in ambush for you. Yep. Still there. Alright, good. Bathroom boy is still in place. Fantastic. Uh, full heal. Save. Uh, stick you onto you. Put you down here. Hold up. I don't want to combine these if it lets me, so I'm just going to be a little, little finicky with that. Uh, oh, that's a three wide? Holy shit. That was only a two wide. Okay, so we want to spend those as we're getting them pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Oh, I should sell these, uh, rifle rounds, probably. And make sure I'm making use of my grenades. Here we go. Greatest veneration of their master, the people offered up their most prized possession. The old farmer of the crop, old swineherd his pig, beggarly grandma, her own beloved babe. The master saw these gifts and was pleased. So, <gasps> crop, pig, babe. I'm assuming that's the answer to that little uh, 
lock thing downstairs. This is going to require me to have an item that I don't have. Okay. Grab you. Uh, crop. Pig. Baby. Bam. Get the marble. Shove the marble in the thing. No. Alright, break the knife. Damn it. It's fine. Who needs a knife? I tried to parry. But maybe, I think, I think grabbing attacks and like punching attacks, I don't think you can parry. I think it has to be an attack with a weapon in order to parry it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but from what I've been seeing so far, that seems to be the case. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're pretty close to something here. What if we rotate it the other way around? I feel like this definitely has to be... What? Oh, right here. Duh. It's like that. There we go. I see it. Village Records, Volume 3. October 10th, weather's been strains of late. Wheat withers and the crops grow, cows grow thin. Number eight, signs of famine. It's true we lack the means to work the fields, but Lord Sadler's orders are absolute. People have starved to death. Cows will be slaughtered. The patriarchs gather to cast lots. Six more chosen for Lord Sadler. I'm going to plug my mouse in here. It's starting to flash at me. Uh, there we go. April, no date. Eight more today. Another no date. Four more. Eleven more. Two outsiders got lost and wandered into the village. We took them to the altar for the ritual. No need to cast lots today. Okay, so we're sacrificing people to Lord Sadler. Guessing that's what those uh, symbols there are, is commemorating the people that were sacrificed. Picture of Sadler himself. All the it's telling me there's more treasure. I'm not done with the treasure in here. If I go downstairs. Yes. There's treasure above the door? In this. Okay. And then we've still got one somewhere that I can't find. Let's just, uh, poke around a second here. Signia key, beautiful. Uh-oh. Hi, Mendez. Oh my god. Mendez is so done with this crap. <laughs> I think I prefer the original one, to be honest, where he jumps out the window after her. But that's fine. Gift? My blood? Alright, end of chapter. What did I get for my results? Uh, save progress, yes. Is it going to show me results? Yeah, show me our chapter results. Um, uh, about another hour. So we're doing about an hour a chapter, so I'm thinking about probably, yeah, 15, 16 hours to finish this. Maybe a little longer. We gotta get some deaths mixed in there, so yeah. 
16, 17 hours probably. Is about three hours a pop? Yeah, I'll probably take about a week and a half to finish this. All right, beautiful. 82% accuracy. Again, I'm still not bad with that. A little sloppy on the damage, but we'll live. Rusicondor 1, I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor 1, out. Okay. What do we get if I view the file here? Luis Serra Navarro. Serra's name first appears publicly in the university student registry. No prior records have been discovered, including his birth certificate. After graduating from university, he was employed by Umbrella's research division. You know, rising star who won favor among his peers. He was involved in the development of several common over-the-counter drugs, all of which were discontinued before ever reaching the market. How can they be common over-the-counter drugs, but they were discontinued before reaching the market? I don't... I don't understand. We see the attached list for details. A few years later, Sarah resigned from Umbrella and could not be located after the Raccoon City incident. Efforts were made by law enforcement and the government to track down anyone with links to Umbrella, but despite conducting an extensive search, they were unable to find him. Considering how well he evaded them, we're almost certain Sarah went to great lengths to disappear. In Huddigan's handwriting, comment over their counter drugs, you seriously think Umbrella would be let one of their best work on some antacid or beauty cream. Okay. So, they're just saying that they don't think it was actually... Okay. I don't, I don't know if I understand what the hell they're getting at there, but sure. Hello? What does this do? Oh. Can I, uh... Oh, I see. We'd need Ashley for that. Alright. Good to know. Uh, that's just that. Which way do you want me to go here, game? Guessing that way, right? Oh! That's what I was expecting to see here. The wolf. We gotta get him out of here. Take care of yourself, buddy. Okay, beautiful. Our wolf friend is safe. We'll be seeing him again later. Uh, yeah, pop this open. Where am I headed? Okay, I see a villager up ahead. They definitely are aware of me. Oh, we're here. I know exactly where I am. Yeah. We're like around the uh, the backside here. Alright. Um, where do I want to go from here? I've already looted all this crap, I think. There's a locked chest that I could go open right now. Let's go do that. Also, is this the point where the thing happens with that? I don't know. That's farther on. We'll find out. There's a, there's an event that I'm waiting for here. That wasn't in the original. And threw me off quite a bit when it happened in the remake. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Oh god. <laughs> uh, or I'll just get mauled to death by wolves. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Getting to see all the death animations. That's fine. 
Getting my money's worth out of this game. I paid for these death animations and we're gonna see every last one of them. Okay. Go in here, get this, open this. Disarm that bear trap that was on the floor behind me when I ran in here so that I don't walk into it on the way back out. Oh, I don't have a knife right now. Oh, good. Okay, where did those... What the hell? <laughs> Fuck you, game. Alright. I've had it up to here with you. Get out of there. Get out of here. Back it up a little bit. Here you go. We're good. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. And I killed a crow. Uh, alright. In that scenario... Wait. I didn't say there's a velvet blue that I don't have. For the love of God. You have got to be... Alright, you know... Alright. Alright. It's fine. Just eat an egg. Just... Where even are they coming from? <laughs> and how is there a velvet blue? Is it outside? Did I, like, knock one down when I was... Okay. How do you get up there, then? Like, there has to be a way up there, right? Alright, alright, alright. All right. Go around the back. Don't have a thing. Yeah, wait a minute. How do you get up there? <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> Work with me here. There has to be a way to get up there, right? So what is it? If I, like, go around the back here... Oh, wait, I can just pop out this. Okay. And then where's the... Yeah, there was one here. Okay, cool. I missed one. Um, I could look for a back way over to the shop. That might not be a terrible plan, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go look for a way over to the shop and try to do some knife repair, if nothing else. Dead. Keep it moving. Okay. Everything's fine. 
I just need more handgun ammo. Oh, okay. These are the the large. Oh, for God's sake! All right. These aren't the mediums. I need I need the I need the mediums. All right. Get into here. Hit you. What? Got hit with a snake. Oh, for God's sake. Fall up. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Snake doesn't drop an egg anymore. That's unfortunate. Oh, 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 wait. A viper. I can just get the whole snake. All right. That's promising. Can I just eat the snake? Poison glands are removed, may be eaten. I'll assume that Leon was smart enough to remove the poison gland before he ate that. It's a bold assumption, but... Okay, another image of Sadler. Head over to here. Illuminados, sleep well and flourish to your child as your body grows, your mother shall sow new small clothes. Seven quintal of wheat and half a bowl of day, you have outgrown your pen what that means. Flourish to your child for your sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. Oh dear god. Hello. We got a we got a big boy. Shotgun shells. First aid spray. I have some new goods that might interest. Yeah, here we go. Treat for you. Bolt thrower is something else. It can be right. Its bolts can be retrieved and reused, so you can keep shooting forever. Also, don't forget to buy the bolt recipe to turn your extra knives into well bolts. Never worry about ammo again. It's not all. You can affix the bolts with attachable mines to quickly turn the weapon into a powerful mine thrower. Shoot at an enemy to see them explode instantly, or at a surface to set a proximity mine. You'll lose the bolt, but it'll be worth it. I have never used that gun. It's in the original game, and I've never used it there, and I've never used it here. <laughs> I'm not sure that it's worth my time. Oh, you fucker. Sell three vipers. I just ate one. I literally... Oh. My man. Welcome. I got something new for you. You gotta tell me this stuff, like, a minute sooner. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The sell you all of that. <laughs> Thank you. I think we're gonna sell the rifle ammo for now. Not bad. I'll keep the crafting stuff, even though I'm not using it at the moment. Just in case I need it later, we're gonna repair Good this. You. We're gonna buy this I don't always have this in stock strange I'm gonna trade nah not trading any of that knife needs care every once in a while Could we're gonna upgrade the knife <laughs> knife's upgraded that'll that'll be useful there is an argument for upgrading some of these guns but I think for now I think I'm still anytime there a, a thing here? Yeah. Again, I'm just going to save, because I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to die, and I'm going to forget that I didn't do all that, and it's going to be a mess. Alright. Keep your eyes open for snakes. I need three snakes. Don't just eat them. Also, how are we doing on treasure? I... I literally missed one in the town hall. My god. I think what I'm going to aim for is we're going to aim to end this chapter Why that I'm on right now. Yourself, and we'll call it a part there. I think that'll be enough for like... Enough for one day. I don't remember where the well, end of this chapter is. What can I interest you? But I think that seems like a good a good Thank plan. You. Don't get yourself killed now. And then we'll be back the day after tomorrow. So not the next day, but the day after. 
uh, pick it up with more of this. And the plan is I'm just going to keep doing that kind of until I finish this. We'll still do the uh, Monday night uh, Zelda stream, but... A church. I made it. Okay. Bam. There's totally going to be somebody in here. Okay. That went pretty well. Okay, I can hear the treasure. It's very nearby. But where? Yeah, I've already walked well past it. Ah. Uh, well, again, low on ammo. That's fine. Bring these all down here. You over here. Knives, I'm just going to stick over here for now. Well, you know, we can stick a knife there. Uh, you come down here. Again, just need to tidy this up so I can see what the hell's going on. Grenades. Boom. Alright, craft me some more handgun ammo. And if I can do it again, some more handgun ammo. Perfect. Alright. I think that's doing well. Okay. Look at the symbols on the graves. I remember this from the original game. I've got two of the V. I've got... Well, there's technically two of the M, although they're not like a double grave like that. Do I need just the double graves? I don't remember how this works. Two of the V. Technically two of the M. Got that weird X thing back there and the weird X thing up here. With so two of the X, and then there's one of the S. Third M over there. I don't remember how this puzzle works in this one. 2v, 3m, 1s. Damn it. Condor 1 to roost. The church is sealed up. And Baby Eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor 1, out. Okay. Got a treasure around the back somewhere. And in the original game, there was a puzzle to solve related to those tombs. There's Ashley. Keep her locked up in the church until the appropriate time. Yeah. Okay, so we've got confirmation she's here. Uh, use insignia key. No, I need a small key for that. Really? Okay, we've got a basement. I've got the pest from the outside has come for the girl. Lock her in the church and await orders from our Lord. Until then, keep the church doors shut. The key will be held in the cave on the other side of the lake. The monster will deal with the foolish intruder. Okay. Lake. Monster in the lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. Yeah, Leon. That, that sounds likely. I mean, it's not a surprise, to be fair. They, you did just read a letter that specifically tells you that there is a monster in the lake. However, I'm going to guess that Leon is going to be absolutely stunned to discover that there is a monster in the lake. Alright, elegant headdress. There we go. Grave robber. Freighter's twins will not be allowed to rest in peace for joining that evil cult. Well, someone destroyed the emblems engraved on their tombstones. Destroy the tombstone emblems. The twins. So... Do you just want me to go and shoot the graves of that... The one where there's two of them? Okay. 
Because, okay, I've got a bunch of the M's. Do you just mean go like this? Wow. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> I mean, in the original game, there was a really obnoxious puzzle that you had to do in the back, right? To spin a dial around. It was a real pain in the ass, to be honest. No. Okay, so then we're gonna have to go through the basement. Alright. Locked chest there. I will go ahead and save. I'm sure there's gonna be shit down here that I don't remember. Is this gonna be like the passageway in the original game where you'd meet the merchant? Or is that just not in here? Huh. Because there's that one like underground cave that normally would have connected to like the far side of the graveyard. I guess they just got rid of that. Lake. <laughs> Beautiful. Out of here with that. Alright, set him on fire. There we go. Now we're making progress. Oh, you fucker. I thought I was going to get the stagger. And they're running like that. They just don't seem to stagger at all. Alright. Worth noting. Oh, you fucker. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you. Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right. Get this. I feel like there was supposed to be a. How did you? How did you even? Where'd you even come from? I was just there, and there was no one there. As I was trying to say, I'm pretty sure there was a snake in there in the original game. But that chest got destroyed somehow without me going into the room. That's okay. We'll find more snakes. Oi. None of that. Light it on fire. Light it on fire. Yeah, like that. Okay. This is all fine. I'm getting very low on ammo. Okay. What have we got up here? 
I mean, the music's chilling out. Does that mean I'm good? I can hear an item. See it. I see it. It is... Okay, he's dead. That's nice. Come on. Come on. Try it. How? Alright. It's fine. Uh, just use one of the regular greens. I'm saving that if I find a yellow. There's one behind me. Get him. Alright. Right? Leon, he's dead. You can't make one-liners to the dead guy. Okay, so I got the treasure there, and it dropped down below. I don't actually know how to get to that, but I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Uh, Jesus Christ, is there more treasure here? Or is those are those treasures down at the lower bit? Yeah, I think those treasures are both down at the lower bit. All right, sweet. So when we find our way down there, we got more treasure waiting for us. Meanwhile, this way. I'm going to explode when I hit this tripwire. Beautiful. Can I get up here? Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> Good luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. Yeah, yeah, Leon, I have a feeling that we are going to be meeting someone big enough to use that thing before too, too long here. No one can destroy blue medallions. The area is polluted by their presence, and I can't bear it. In the quarry and the fish farm, there are five of them. Reward is for spin out. Alright, yeah, I remember this room. I shouldn't have any problems here. Like... At the moment. Okay, I've got a slight problem. Get him. I hear rumbling, and I think it's the guy back here. Yeah, it's totally the guy back there. But he's not a problem yet. I can ignore his existence for the time being. I've got... Treasure up there. Plenty of money. Okay. Can't open you yet. Resources, which will let me craft some more handgun ammo, which is always welcome. I'm honestly thinking maybe I should start selling these large ones. I don't know. I feel like I'm not getting very good use out of them. Uh, well, hang on to them for now. Because I think you can craft, like, rifle ammo with them is the big thing. Which is certainly useful, but I'm not using a rifle at the moment. I don't know if it's worth keeping them. I guess I'll take a look at how much they sell for. Make my decision based on that. Uh... Alright, down we go. This is like the first fancy shop. Oh, it's the first shooting gallery! There are enough weapons here to get a party going. 
good stuff, Strange. Got it. Where would it All right, what beautiful. We've got five of these. I could get the Punisher. I'm going to save him. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. A deal well struck. Okay. <laughs> I could, at this point, inlay this with four different colors and get the four different well, color bonus. All, is that actually better on that one? That Flip. might be better. Hold up. Go to this. Show me the inlay. For four... No, we still want four of the same is the better one. For five, it's the five different color is the is the best one. But for four, getting four of the same is the best option. So keep my eyes open for rubies. I'll hang on to it for now. But first, my favorite bit of this game, the shooting gallery. <laughs> How does this work? Okay. Alright. Get everything. Get the bonus condition. Three, Let's roll. Two, one. Pistol Make round it is. Wait, oh, I don't want to shoot the sailors. What am I doing? Ah, I missed the thing. Alright, that's fine. We'll just learn him. So, not a perfect round, but we're, gonna, we're just learning it. Oh, this was terrible. That was, that was a terrible round. All right, try that again. That's fine. We'll just we'll just get at it. You want to make sure you get all of the little skulls. We're good. Again, we just gotta hit all those silver targets. That was good, but missed my silver targets. Obtain. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. I don't need to worry about every shot being a headshot. I've got the score ones, so now all we need to do. Focus on getting all the silver. Oh, that was a... That's a whiff. We gotta start the whole round over. And what I'm gonna do for this one, actually, is... Yeah. Just wait for them all to pop up. Shoot that. Much better. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Oh my god, that one's gonna suck. Alright. I see the I see my path to victory on this. A kick on this at the moment. Not great. Alright. 
I don't know if the weapon upgrades matter, if this just always is a, like, what, you know, whatever gun they're handing you is the gun it's gonna be. Or if, like, if I've been spending money on upgrading my pistol, is this pistol better? Alright. And... Let's hit him. Oh, that sucks. That last one is going to be a nightmare. Because your aim is like, doesn't set very quickly. There we go. Now we're getting it. My God! <laughs> oh no, I'm getting that last one. I don't care. We're we're getting S rank perfect everything on all of these. I don't care if it takes me a million tries. Which it might at this rate. I don't even remember what you get for this. I think it's literally just the little like trinkets that you can hang off your Abishay case, which isn't that useful. Like, it's okay, but it's not worth doing this for. I missed the last one. Oh my god. That hit the thing, but not the silver target. And I hit every single target that time, so I got the perfect performance message. There we go. This is feeling better. Uh, not like that, though. Can I just, uh, restart the... Quit shooting. Yes. Just give me this one again. Come on. Catchy music, at least. And let him get a little closer. And then... Cut. Alright. Start from the front and work back. My god, what are you supposed to do there? Do you just have to get lucky? This is like, that sucks. Wait for it. 
All right. Only gonna care about the silvers. Yeah, like, how does that miss? There we go. All right. There's the final one. Beautiful. Every reward you can get for that, unless you want to try to, like, go for crazy high score. But I think that's honestly about as high as I'm going to get on that. Let's try the rifle. Oh, there was a silver one on the on his chest there. And you. Alright, we're good. There's silver ones on both the back. Remember that. Headshots don't seem to matter. And let him go past. Beautiful. How did I miss four silver targets? Or three silver targets? Oh, I know where they are. They're behind the barrels. Alright, hold up. I got an idea. This is the remake, which is absolutely fantastic. Hey, Zambai, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. There we go. Oh, no. You fucker. <laughs> oh, the remake's fantastic. We're gonna have to redo this again. Matter of fact, I'm actually just gonna up way too late, but having a good time. Good. Good to hear. Uh, when are you starting uh, Alien Isolation, by the way? Let me, uh, real quick, get a shout-out in there for you, because I am very much looking forward to seeing you uh, do an Alien Isolation. That game is... An absolute nightmare. Three, two, one, begin. Double kill. Okay, so there weren't any behind the barrels. So I don't need to spend the ammo getting rid of the barrels. Open next Wednesday. Okay. Got it. Where are the, all the silver ones that I missed somehow? Good. Yeah, five out of ten. Oh, there's one down there at the very start. I saw it. I missed one there. Yeah, okay, I see where they all are now. Also work remote job Monday, Thursday, we'll see. Gotcha. I'm very I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Are you planning to do like the whole game or are you just doing like a, a night of it? Got it. I'm gonna hate it. I, I bet you are. <laughs> I very much look forward to catching it. All right. Get you, and there's gonna be one that slides right in front. Okay. Get the one on the ground first.
There's one more. Wait, how is there one more? I don't understand. Where did I miss a silver one? I didn't see a silver one anywhere there. No, I'm, I'm doing this. Streaming, you're awake. Join me in Discord. You know the backseating I can get. Join me in Discord? Yeah. I mean, I don't know the game very well. So I never finished it, so... <laughs> Oh, it was this one. I missed this one. Hold up. Yeah, because I, I definitely just shot that guy and didn't, like, take out the, the silver thing. Alright, we're good. As, as long as I don't time out right here, we're good. God damn it! <laughs> oh, Leon, you son of a whore. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. All right, over to here, hit that, we're done. Then hit you, and now it's nice and easy. And beautiful, okay, sweet. All I gotta do now is hit the easy line at the end here. Make sure I hit the ones on the ground first during that last bit, and it's gonna be nice and simple. This guy's gonna do a spin, line himself up, then perfect. Don't hit the sailor. Actually, I don't even know if it matters to the sailor. Might not matter. Okay, reload. There's gonna be one sliding around along the ground. Hit that. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that. That'll do it. Bam! Alright. <sighs> Last one! One in the back corner in that one that I gotta watch for. Good. Checking all the barrels to see if there's any of these barrels I need to destroy for silver things. Okay, wait, there's one on that guy's head. But only when he's facing a certain direction. Okay. Let's see it. That was bad, but we can we can we can learn. We can do better. <laughs> First one we do need to do the barrel. And then get the sniper rifle out. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. That. Perfect. Oh, the end game, the, the shooting range in this is phenomenal. It's so fun. Damn it. Alright, well. We got all the pirates, so that opens up the end. We'll get to see where the last ones are. I missed one silver, though, so I gotta do this all again. Oh, it only does two passes. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, sweet. That was, that was all the silvers except that one. Now at this point, I just wanna... 
Okay, how are we looking? S rank? That's my one gold token. I just need to go and do all of the silver skulls. Two. Boom. Boom. What? Boom. 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 One. And two. And one. And two. And three. Reload. Oh, I missed it again. Should I go to the sniper rifle for that? Is that worth going to the sniper rifle for? It feels like it, should, it wouldn't be. Alright, I've got the rest of this down. I'm just going to go ahead and quit the shooting range. That's fine. We're good. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, it doesn't matter because all that matters for the bonus round is kill all the pirates for this one. And shoot as many sailors as he wants. But apparently, I want to shoot several. All right. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Use the sniper rifle for that. I'm being dumb by not using the sniper rifle for that. I got lucky on that a couple times, and it made me overconfident. But... Tired. Losing focus. Not a good thing. Alright, we're good. Reload. Get this centered and get me Anything else we get here is just for shits and giggles. Alright. Sweet. S rank. Got all my tokens. Okay, Leon, put the hand grenade away. <laughs> You're freaking me out, buddy. I believe we now just get to go over to this thing, right? So here's my options. You can either do like increases the chance for rarer prizes, but I seem to recall somebody looked at the math on this and it's like, it barely does anything. But just because I have them, we're just gonna do three of the golds. I don't care, these are all basically pointless. Look at that, a rare prize. We got an Ashley Graham Epic, 50% health recovery for green herbs. That's actually really, really good, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got two of them. Can I, can I stack them up? Alright. Bonus handgun ammo. Let's just shove them all in here. Soldier with a hammer. Alright. Keep shoving them in here. Alright. Honestly, not great. But, <laughs> that'll do. We'll go check those out when I get upstairs. And there will be more shooting gallery later. There's like multiple rounds of that where they add in the new weapons to get them. So, there is definitely more shooting gallery. Oh, what is up with that lag there? Are you feeling okay, game? Are you feeling okay, stream? Okay. Coming out of that elevator, it was not happy about that, but it seems to have settled. Um... Welcome. Got a selection. Why would a sell? On sale, stranger. If I can't Ruby's stack all she makes no difference the Ashley Grants, well, then we might want to sell those. To <laughs> Hard. Hold up. Customized case. Uh, can I put Ashley? No. Okay, so there's no point in having multiples. Handgun ammo crafting bonus. There we go. Okay, this is all of them. Uh, I could do extra health recovery, and I could do, yeah, bonus handgun ammo crafting. And this is, yeah. Magnum ammo. Yeah, just go with this on the center. So, a bunch of bonus health and ammo crafting, and we can sell our duplicates to this Welcome. guy. Here you go. Have some duplicate I'll medallions. Almost anything. Well, yeah, that'll work. I can certainly do something with this. Where would uh, anything else what I can get I from here? For? No. Anything else worth doing here? Just Could repair the knife. Come back and let's save. And again, when I get to the end of the chapter, we're gonna call it a part there, which I think is coming up relatively soon here. I don't actually remember where they've assigned the chapter end in the remake. I think some of the chapter ends are slightly different in the remake. I could be wrong on that, though. It's been a, been a while since I've really, like, thoroughly compared them. Okay, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of those little statues I was talking about. Oh god, I've still only gotten three of those. That was my fourth one. Oh no. There are many of those that I have missed, apparently. Good, good, good. Can't do anything here because I don't have the boat yet. Then, where do you want me to go, game? I came in... Somewhere around here. Hexagon piece. Okay, this is new. I have not been here yet. We're going the right way. We've got the castle in front of us. And our friends at the lake. And that's the other police officer we were missing at the beginning of the game. We had the one that got set on fire in the village square, and the guy that stayed back in the car. Oh. What the hell was that? Okay, Leon, remember that part where you say there was a note, and it said that the, the, the monster Looks in the like lake something over there. would take care of him? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that it's the monster in the lake. Damn. Look at the size of that. I kind of predicted... He was going to be surprised by that. Even though he said he hopes there was no surprises. Because Leon's maybe not always the smartest. 
All right, what do we got here? What's this? Boat fuel stored with the generator fuel inside processing building at the fish farm. Take only what you need. Also, fish farm. I remember blue medallions? Quarry through the fish farm? I need blue medallions. If I run past a bunch of those, I a thousand percent have. There was a blue medallion, I believe, in the room I was just in. Can I... Can I get back up there? Hold up. I want my blue medallions. Gotta do all the side quests. Obsessed with side quests. Wait. What? It's behind me. Ow. Oh, wait. I see it. I see it. Nailed it. Uh, I feel like I want to go down here first. I think I know where I'm going, and I think there's a pretty big fight there. And I want to make sure... Oh, yeah, we're going to want all of this stuff first. There we go. This is the ticket. Just, uh... Scrounge up any stuff you might find. Beautiful. All right. Anything else down here? Oh. That's the boat, but I'm going to need boat fuel. So we got to go to the end of the fish place, which is another area where they flip the map around a little bit. You're going to come through from, like, a different angle than you'd normally enter from. Like, normally you don't get to the boat from here. You get to the boat after this next bit, and you enter this next bit from the other side. Which is fine. I actually like that they switched some of the maps up, where it's still like the same map, but just like, laid out a little yeah. different. Alright. Get the fish. If we get the fish, you can use the fish as healing items. That's just free, free health swimming around out here. Okay. How about if we deal with that like this? Like, I really don't feel like dealing with that. Alright, beautiful. That'll do nicely. Okay. How did that miss? Twice. Alright. That's fine though, this is perfect. I'm literally at the lowest possible health, which is the ideal time to use that. Oh, sweet. That actually killed that guy, too. Beautiful. Couldn't have worked out better. This is all going exceptionally well. Uh, also, keep your eyes open for snakes. I'm pretty sure there's some snakes in this area, and I need three of them. Because the guy, my merchant friend, wants me to sell him some snakes. Alright, get you. Beautiful. This is where I fell through. Alright, that's the shortcut back out. Here we go. We can just loop around this way. Right down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. None of that. We'll get to him in a second. I think you can reach all those upper areas, so I'm not too worried about him. As long as I keep moving, he shouldn't be, like, too much of a problem. Don't 
Like, he's gonna keep trying to hit me, but I don't think he's gonna succeed. We can just kind of move in the other direction. Oh, hello. Out of the way. Beautiful. Oh. see out here. Ah, uh, we'll use a first aid spray. That's fine. Leon, this isn't probably the best time to be doing that, but... I think you gotta go down. What the? Why did he explode? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. And he got back up after exploding. Ah, durable. Okay. You stop. Well, there's at least one of them still out there. I also haven't seen any snakes. Not gonna lie, I was kinda counting on finding some snakes down here. Okay, the game's playing the, like, there's a really big danger very close to you music. But I'm... I'm not seeing anything. Is it you? I think that's just the world's most durable man from up top there. Alright, we're good. Down to four bullets, which isn't... Oh, 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 oh. There's one snake. I hear another one. Watch for ripples on the water's surface. There's another one near here. I can hear it. Ah, 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 ah. There it is. Okay. We're good. Two snake. Give me the fish. Alright, beautiful. Leon, uh, you can start eating fish to heal yourself up. Alright. And then, can you go ahead and, like, craft some handgun ammo just to clear this crap out of my inventory? Yeah, we'll keep these over here. We'll get this down here. I don't even want you. <laughs> uh... Snakes over here. You know, that snake can go there for now. Healing items down there. This stuff we gotta figure out what the hell we're doing with. Alright, beautiful. Nice and organized. More gunpowder. There. I could do with one more snake. Is that a snake back here? No. 
could really do with one more snake game. If you want to have, like, one more of the boys floating around here. I guess not. Oh. Okay. Almost ran into that. There's a chest over here. Alright. Beautiful. Another hexagon piece. I can just find one more snake before I get out of here. I will count this as a complete total victory. I'm gonna guess that when I go into that room, what is going to happen is a bunch more enemies are gonna spawn behind me, and I'm going to have to fight my way back out of here in reverse. And this is the direction you would have come through in the original Resident Evil. Well, was it in Resident Evil 4? Granted, there wasn't that, like, raised area where the sniper guy was in the original game, so... It's... it's pretty different. Hey, Techno Ghosty, how's it going? This is what I'm talking We're working about. our way through. I'm about to... I'm gonna wrap it up soon. When I get to the end of this chapter, I think, is the, the plan to wrap up. And I think this is about to be one of the bigger, more memorable boss fights. I'm assuming that's the end of this chapter is going to be the, the big boss fight. Oh, there's totally enemies respawning in this area. I hear them. Oh my gosh. I don't speak Spanish, but they don't sound happy. Get him! Next. Okay. We're good. We've we done Del Lago. I am about to do Del Lago, I believe. Not 100% sure on that, to be honest, but I think I'm about to. There's enough changes in this one that, like, I don't know the exact timing of where I'm at. Oh, a fourth snake. That means I can just eat this one to heal up. Oh, beautiful. It's snakes for dinner. It's just like that Metal Gear Solid game. Oh, and you know what? It's fish for dinner, too, if I want. I'm doing that on the floor, you can get your knifing. Yeah, you can. It just eats a ton of knife durability, is the problem. And uh, parrying also eats knife durability. So if you want to parry, you need a knife. So I'm trying to be a little more conservative with my, uh, with my insta-kills. Just so that I don't run out of knife. Oh, you know what? I do want that. Oh, and there's apparently something I missed back there. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. I'm going to get this treasure that I missed, and I'm going to go get that barrel that I missed. Leave no treasure behind. There's apparently... Treasure. Oh! Really? I didn't even realize you could get those out of that. Alright, well. I could go do more gambling if I get two more of them. <laughs> yeah, I also uh, finished all of the uh, challenges in the first gun. Like, the gun range. Like, S tier at every course. Got all the silver skulls. Hit the high scores. <laughs> and gambled all my money away. <laughs> Alright. Let's head on up here. I've got the boat fuel, and I'm about to hit the boat, so I'm almost positive this is going to be Del Lago. Like... Right? It's gotta be. Spanish in this game, and they say something... It's they throw to see something in the lines of uh, Ahiva Eso, which doesn't have an exact translation. It's a mix of here goes and there goes that. Interesting, it doesn't have an exact translation. To be fair, some of it might just be like Spanish slang. 
Or it could be that when they made this game originally in Japan, they didn't do very good research. It, it could be either of those options. <laughs> I think either of them is e extremely likely. Uh, Alright. Is there like... Okay. I don't like... That it hasn't given me a typewriter. And I'm about to get into that boat. <laughs> because I know what happens when I get into that boat. So we're gonna real quick just uh, take a quick peek back here and uh, borrow this guy's typewriter for a second. Man, it gets really laggy in this room. Every time I come in here, it's like the frame rate drops by like 10 frames. Yeah, there's a merchant right here. So. We'll just uh, get my blue medallion reward. What can I do? You don't really need any of this stuff, so we'll hang on to that for now. I can sell the pipe. I can sell this. Thank you. Uh, I'm. He wants me to sell him three uh, for another reward. You're a real professional. Yes. Beautiful. Nothing new. Got a select Do I? Things on sale, stranger. All right. Come here's the plan. Anytime. Still get special Welcome. weapons for free. They don't give them to you for free per se. They give you the spinels, which are these the the that you don't sell these for money anymore. They're a special currency that you use for this trade menu, and you can trade for some of the special weapons, like the Punisher. You can What's trade that? for this time. How have we uh, these although I actually don't really like the Punisher, so <laughs> you don't I'm not bothering to, to redeem it because I'd rather save the money for other stuff. Um. Okay. Repair knife. That's good work. If I do yeah, you get the, the, the Punisher from the uh, the graveyard. Yeah, or the farm. Yeah, the farm it was the farm plus graveyard is what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, let's go. Here's what we're gonna do. I think it is time Killed now. to Oil add code. the rifle. What can I interest you in? Really? That's still no space. Okay. Oh, well, we're gonna make this real ugly then, why don't we? Welcome. Bye. Rifle. Wish your enemies sweet dreams from afar with a bullet straight through their heads. <laughs> and then, can I buy? Okay, Come no. Back. If I say I want to craft, yeah, we can get some rifle ammo with that if I need it. Uh, I could also... I don't have enough to craft any handgun or shotgun ammo. I have some fish to heal with. I have an egg to heal with. That's fine. That, that'll that be fine. Uh, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick these all down here to get them out of the way. I'm gonna get this over here. We're gonna make this little corner up here my, like general healing items and then crafting items will live along here knife can go there fish can go there shotgun shells can go there you live down with the grenades I can live with that Anytime. alright save game beautiful Let's go fight a fish. <laughs> I don't actually remember how this goes in the in the remake. Oh, you know what? Actually, screw it. We're going to show off another little bonus feature. A little Easter egg thing. Because we've got to save right now. So we can show off uh, an achievement that you can get in this one. It does cost you your life, but you can get an achievement here. You just got to go over here and go... There you go. <laughs> I've already gotten that achievement, so it didn't pop up for me this time. But there is an achievement for doing that. It's called uh, Don't Shoot... Uh, Don't Shoot the Water, I think is the name of the achievement. It's something stupid like that. But it's funny. You can get a little funny achievement there if you, if you want to go in. And a bonus cutscene.
Alright, down we go. Let's head out onto the lake. And see what we got cooking. Um, you're on three. Register shortcut. Register shortcut. Two. And flash grenades register shortcut. Five. That'll do. Use boat fuel on boat. Get in boat. Let's go for a stroll. going to be the exact same as it was in the old one. It is beautiful. I, was like, I honestly couldn't remember if they changed this or not. Actually, it's significantly easier to tell if you're going to hit the thing now. Which is a, a, a big improvement. Nice. Get him. Stabbing them. Okay, he disappears. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? All right, he's gonna come back in. There we go. I actually know if this is like damage based or like number of rotations through is like phases or how this works. I don't know how this works in either the original or this. Oh god, that was that was bad. Alright. Like I've never been sure what causes this fight to end. It just does eventually. It's reasonably fun, so like, who cares? You just get to have a little bit of fun throwing some spears at a guy. Original had rotations two, four times. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know if it's rotations or if it always takes four times to do that much damage. It's a pretty straightforward fight. It's just kind of fun. It's actually significantly more fun now because I can actually pretty much guarantee that like my spears are going to hit the guy. Was definitely not a guarantee in the original. Where'd you go? All right. I probably shouldn't take my hands off the keyboard just yet, huh? not do the bit where his, uh, the rope gets wrapped around his leg and you have to mash F to cut the rope off? Aw, oh, come on. Lame game. That was one of the only cut the quick time events I actually liked. They did remove the boulder chase sequence. Yeah, they, they, they removed a few of the, like, 
mash a button to avoid dying. Uh, uh, like quick time events in this one. There, there's a few. There's a few still in there. Like if you if you get grabbed. But the ones where it's just like that's the entire sequence is just mashing a button. They mostly got rid of them. Like that one there at the end. There used to be a bit where uh, at the end of it the rope was wrapped around Leon Leon's leg, and as the thing sank, you had to press the button so you could pull out his knife and cut the rope off. Which I always thought was exciting. It was a fun little end of the uh, end of the boss fight. But whatever. And I think I'm going to end it here also. I think we're going to go ahead... What did I get? Knife Master? Parry an object thrown by an enemy. Oh, it's the first time I've done that. Yeah, nice. Uh, hour and 20 minutes. So it's been taking about an hour per part. So I think I probably spent about 20 minutes in the, uh, in the shooting gallery there. So yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. Uh, time's damage, again, a little high. 22 is a bit more than I'd like. Two deaths, that's okay. I can live with that. Uh, yeah, so about an hour per part. I think I can probably do three or three chapters per stream. So it'll probably take me five-ish streams, maybe five or six. I might do a longer one in there, get it, make sure it's five. Uh, so uh, probably right before Halloween. We'll probably be ending this like just, just before Halloween. Although there is potentially a delay in there. Actually, I can say there's almost certainly a delay in there. Uh, I am going to have to take the night of the 25th, I believe it is. I think that's a Wednesday. Off. Uh, normally be streaming that night, but we're having a, a yearly inventory at work. And I'm going to be doing an overnight shift uh, for that. So I will not be streaming that night, which might mean this gets pushed back and we're finishing this on Halloween. I don't know. I might also, if we finish it like a little early, maybe we'll just do separate ways to try to like get that knocked out because that should be able to like a, like a one stream kind of deal. Um, OG games you can shoot the weapons out of the air. Yeah, I think you can still do that in this. It's just really hard. Um, but yeah, we're gonna call it a part there for now. I'll go ahead and save. Beautiful. Uh, let me wrap it up here. We'll go ahead and throw in a social media link of where I'll post any updates on what I'm planning to stream or when I'm planning to stream it on Twitter and the YouTube channel that has all the old archived VODs. I'm just getting the last of the Fable 3 stuff loaded up on there right now, and then I'll be getting this put up there probably within a week or so as well. All the parts of that will go up live on the, on the YouTube channel. Um, and then... Yeah, I think we'll probably try to finish this. I do also want to take a look at that Metal Gear Solid Master Collection when that comes out. But with the uh, with the night, it comes out the 24th. So potentially I'll do a little one-off of that, like in between the, Metal, the Resident Evil stuff here, just to take a look at how specifically I want to see how the PC version of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 works, because we've never had a PC version of that before. So I'm very excited to be able to play that on a PC. Um, so we'll take a look at that when it comes out. Let me pop over to the ending slide and hopefully I can kill you. Then I can disable performance mode. That should be fine. All right, beautiful. But yeah, we'll be coming up with that. Uh, I might, again, with the, my inventory coming up that week, it'll be a little weird because I may not be able to take a look at it on the exact day that I want to just because I have to work an overnight there. And it's going to be like a goofy, like... I work an overnight shift for eight hours, take eight hours off, and then come back for my regular shift. So I'm basically doing, like, there's going to be a 24-hour period where I'm working 16 hours in that. <laughs> so might be a little busy around that week. We'll see how things are going. But uh, for now, I'm going to call it apart. Thank you all for joining. Uh, let's see if anybody is online to send a raid in the direction of... Wow actually no one <laughs> like not even any of that like i follow some like larger streamers too like sips and stuff like that actually no one <laughs> all right i mean to be fair, i am like an hour later than i usually go so the people i usually see on are not on that is fine i am going to call it apart head out and i will let you all find your own way for now thank you all for joining and i hope to see you next time